So in this video, I will be discussing code for surround 98 for division 3. I will be discussing first 5 problems of this set. Let's start with problem number A twice. So in this question, we are given an array A of n integers and initially our score is 0. Okay. And to increase the score, what we can do, select any two indexes i and j such that neither of i and j should have been selected before. And also a of i should be equal to a of j. If this is condition is satisfied, we have to increase our score to 1. And what is the maximum possible score which we can get? So answer is simple. Just use a map and like for each and every occurrence of a particular number, just divide the occurrence by 2 because both of them should be equal. Right. So and increase the particular count in your score and that will be your final answer. Yeah, so I think so that's not much in this problem array. Let's start with problem number B that is interspected inputs. Okay, so we are given two integers n and m and an array and a grid of size n lines and m columns which but what we can say. But what question has asked that the stream of input which we are getting has been shuffled which means now we will get a stream of n into m plus 2 because 2 integers are these also and an integer k which will size of our final stream output so we have to tell them the what what are the possible values of n and m from the stream which we are given so i think so there is nothing much in, in this question also because first of all we will iterate on this particular stream okay then check whether there is a multiple of this particular number on which we are currently on in the array present and the multiplication of both these numbers equal to the n minus 2 because that is the multiplication of n, min, n into m also right so yeah these two conditions if you are getting to satisfied so you will get your answer the code if i show you the code is also easy just um, i think so yeah this is the code so this is a, this is the first integer x suppose it is rho or n what you can say this is x if x is divisible by n minus 2 because that is a that is a multiplication of n into m also if this is a divisible by x then i have to find whether there is occurrence of n minus 2 divided by x because that is another number either this is m or then this will be n right if this number is present then you have to check if both of these numbers are, equ are equal or not if both of these numbers are equal then the occurrence should be greater than 1 right yeah, if I think so, these are the minor checks. You can also satisfy the conditions. So yeah, if checking all these conditions, just find the answer and print the answer in between. All right. So yeah, let's now say, discuss problem C. That is um, five five permutation. So in this question, we have to construct a permutation of size n such that, like the uh, if we take sum of any two adjacent numbers in the permutation, then the sum should be composite number. A composite number is that number which have at least one divisor besides one and x. Okay. So yeah, if it is not possible, just print minus one. So let me break down the question in multiple parts. For example, I am giving you some numbers. Let's suppose one to eight. Okay. So tell me if the sum is even, then it is all always a divisible, right? For example, the sum is divi uh, the sum is even right the sum is even yes and the sum is even yes and also the sum is even i think so i can take two and two also so basically to get a sum of even what i can add i can only add even plus even or odd or odd right only these two pairs will satisfy a condition of even sum right but there's also there also be a merger in which like your even must be like added with the odd number and these these should also be divisible right so what is the minimum possible and you know one thing that even plus odd is always an odd number right so what is the minimum odd number which is a composite number the answer is nine yeah nine is the only nine is the smallest composite number which is odd and divisible which is not a right i hope so what so nine is the smallest number smallest odd number which is a composite and it is made by adding 4 plus 5 right so answer is sorted if your uh, if your n is greater than or equal to 9 just you have to do just print 4 and 5 in between and the rest of it rest print all of the even numbers behind the 4 
and attach all of the odd number uh, like in the front of five in this way you will get your final answer yeah but what will happen for the numbers which are smaller than nine just brute force them because like i will show the code also like for the nine what i have done just printed all of the odd numbers and appended four and appended five in the middle and just added all of the odd numbers at that right but in the other cases just brute force all of these particular questions because there are only four four other cases for the eight seven six and five find the answer for these four conditions separately and print it as it is and get the nine you know the answer four and five should be in the middle and yeah that's how you can solve problem number c also let's now discuss problem number d that is sharky surfing surfing whatever it is so in this question we are given a for example in this question we are given let me teach you here only uh we are initially we are at point zero we have to reach a point l okay there are some hurdles between them okay for example this is the hurdle these are hurdle and the hurdles are point not a just a block of hurdle right so yeah for example these are hurdles okay done and there are also some power ups between the hurdle and like it is make sure that the power up will always be between the hurdle right so yeah like my power up would be here 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 and at then it would be here and let's suppose here also okay done now this is a, this is a number line from 0 to l right and points are marked over here yeah so just marking a random points i hope so you can get it so yeah these are some random points over the particular number line yeah so there's one condition you cannot step on a hurdle which means you cannot step on these steps right i cannot never go on these steps but i can jump over these steps and my initial jump point is 1 okay which means if i am at index 0 i can go to index 1 right and what is the power up for example power up at this point is 7 so my initially power up was 1 so i can add 7 in my initial power up which means my final power up would become 8 now what i can do i can make a jump of 8 now for example my or not a jump of 8 but anywhere between 0 to 8 okay done so i have to tell them what the minimum number of power up which i can take so that i will be able to reach l at the end okay so this is the question for example now i am having a power up of 8 okay can i jump this yes i can easily easily go to this can i jump this i can oh, i can easily go to this point yeah because this is power up and but i cannot go on hurdle remember, remember that i can go on this point i can go on this point i can go on this point because my power up is 8 and none of my none of my jump was like small or none of my jump was greater than 8 so yeah i can only i i only use up, i only use only one power up and this is the minimum number of power up which i use so yeah how to solve this particular question just be greedy okay how to solve this problem let me tell you why so yeah mm, for example uh, like you are at you are at a particular point okay then just maintain some counters like current okay and a heap which will store the maximum powers which you are getting for example just just taking random numbers for example 3 4 2 and 1 okay now you know in this particular heap the four is maximum yeah right so if you are if you are ever encounter if you are ever encountering a power up just add it add it in the heap okay if you are encountering a hurdle okay if you are encountering a hurdle just find the difference just, just find the number of steps which you have to took which you have to jump for for crossing this hurdle okay then for example the i am referring it as a requirement okay in this case my requirement is 1 for example i have to jump from this index to this index yes so requirement is 1 2 3 4 5 the five other steps which means i have to get minimum to minimum six jumps possible like because i have to go this point to this point right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so requirement is 6 okay then and for example this step is the power up at this point is 
ओके आई विल लेट से अपन इनमें ओके लेट मी इरेज दिस डमी डेटा एंड राइट इट ओरिजिनल डेटा फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज 7 सो माय रिक्वायरमेंट इज 6 एंड मैं जंप भी 7 बट आई कैन जंप और नॉट यस आई कैन डेफिनेटली जंप सो माय करंट वुड बी 8 बिकॉज़ इनिशियली वाज 1 दिस इज 7 7 प्लस 1 दैट इज 8 सो आई कैन जंप अप टू 8 स्टेप्स ओके आई विल जंप देन आई हैव जंप ओवर हियर नाउ दिस इज व्हेन आई कैन गो ओवर हियर सिंपली बाय यूजिंग वन स्टेप ओनली now let's suppose this is this is this is a very long hurdle okay and the requirement of this particular hurdle is for example that is 10 okay then but your current is 8 and the power up over here was let's suppose 1 only so tell me can you jump over here or not i cannot jump because 7 i have consumed this is no more in my hip now 1 is my hip 1 is in my hip so current plus 1 that is 9 okay current has become 9 no, is my current greater than requirement? No, it is not greater than or equal to requirement. So I will definitely cannot jump, or I will in this case I will print simply print minus one. Okay, done. But yeah, let's suppose it is not one, it is ten. Now my maximum heap is ten, and now it is not eight. This is eighteen. Yeah. So yes. So is my eighteen greater than requirement? Yeah, definitely greater than requirement. So I just proceed the further and repeat the process until you reach the end. So yeah, that's how you can solve problem number D also. And what is a counter? Counter is the maximum number of maximum number of times you pop the maximum element from your particular heap. Because you require it because you require the power up at that point. So yeah, that's the solution of this particular problem. Let now let me now show you the code. And just take the input and put it in your current array. H represents the hurdle. Hurdle x comma y. P represents the power x comma y. Now then, I will sort my particular array because you know one thing that everything will be in sorted order. If I am encountering a hurdle, I know that all the powers which are behind this hurdle are already been like compute computed, right? So that's why I am sorting the particular array because it contains both H and P or hurdle and power. Yeah, so I will maintain a multi set of powers which will give me the maximum element or the maximum power which I have and remove it also. Yeah, done. So if my particular type is hurdle. Okay, I will find the requirement. What is the requirement? The the amount of jump which I, which is required to jump from this index to this index, right? I will find the requirement. Okay, then I will check if my requirement is greater than my current is greater than my than my current, which means I have to somehow increase my current jump. And yes, so I will just find the maximum element from the multi set and erase that particular maximum element. Increase my answer, increase the my current to the maximum which I, which I just get and check. If my current is again smaller than requirement, then print minus one return. Else just repeat the loop. And if it is a hurdle, if it is a like if it is a power, power up, then in, then just put the power up in my current array or the powers array. Yeah, and just print the answer at that. So that is how you can solve problem number D. Problem number D also. So for the problem number E. Like I will discuss the somehow intuition part of this problem very because like I was not able to test the solution. So yeah, just a small discussion, but like I am sure like this will work. So in this question we are given a this is interactive problem. For example, initially we are having a sub array. Okay, we are having a, a string s which is containing only zero and one. Okay, which will only only contain zero and one. Okay. And what we can do, we can make a query on a, on a sub array of size like from L to R. Okay, done. From L to R. And what the particular query will give me? The particular query will give me the number of subsequence, the number of subsequence of 0 and 1 in their particular substring. For example, my particular substring is 0, 0, 1, and 0, 1. So, how many substrings are there? Who which 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 contains zero and one that are two substrings one is this and one is this so the answer for this particular substring will be two so yeah I can make this particular query total n times or the maximum n times so tell me the final string s which was there so yeah how to solve this particular problem so let me discuss it now so there is also case in which answer will not be possible so here you can see if answer is not possible just print impossible in bigger words yeah that's what they're saying so 
the only possible answer case is when there is no substring of 0 and 1 just make a single query on the whole substring on the or or, or on the whole string s if the answer is answer of whole like for example in this manner like one comment is zero then just print impossible the answer is not possible else just repeat a loop just repeat a loop for example just construct the initial three points of your sub array or your or your string or just leave the three points just get the uh, okay let me repeat it again get the three points get the first three index of your final string s okay but how make a query on 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 i will take all of the cases if the query answer is 1 because it, it cannot be greater than 1 if the query answer is 1 if the query answer is 1 then it is sorted the first is 0 again is 1 and you know one thing that next cannot be like okay let's take a case now you know one thing that the query of if this is 1 if this is 1 then the query of 1 comma 2 will always be 0 will always be 0 right it is always 0 just now for the for coming it to be 0 now this can be 0 also now this, the, the answer for this is also 0 and the answer for this is also 0 yeah but how you will decide you will decide based on the next by by querying on the next substring which means querying on the 2 comma 3 okay you know this thing this is definitely 0 this is definitely 0 now if this is coming to be 1 if this is coming to be 1 don't tell me if this how can this be 1 this can only be 1 okay this can only be 1 if this was 0 and this was 1 right am I right yes I am right so because now you know one thing for the particular this something the answer is 1 for the particular this substring the answer is 1 and for the this particular the middle one the answer is 0 yeah but 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 let me take a case if this was 0 not 1 if this is 0 if this is 0 then like there are again two choices with you now now there are again two choices with you either this is 1 comma 1 either this is 1 and 1 okay or this is 0 or 0 so how will you decide this particular index based on the answer given by the next option so yeah you can repeat this particular solution and yeah you will get your final answer and the number of queries which will be required will be only n minus 1 not more than this particular number hope so you get the point which i'm trying to say just use the particular queries to find the answer of the next query so yeah that's the solution for primary but i will give you the code also update in the comments it might not be the right way but yeah just not sure I, I, I have not submitted it yet so yeah i will be informing you and updating on that so that's all for today's video if you like the video please do share subscribe and share and subscribe to my channel and yeah thanks